guess what day it is. Today is the day I'm going to try and pace Tom to a brand new 10k PB of under 60 minutes. I mean, that's not happening because my watch has paced me to a 10k PB, so why are you here? What? Okay, fine. I will just soak up the vibes and we will see who is better at pacing, me or the watch. <sighs> watch. Right, Tom, what time are we going for today? 60 minutes. Was that 60? 60, 60 minutes! Sub 60 minutes. Let's get your watch set up. Now I have my arch nemesis on my watch screen. There's one goal for today, and it's to beat that little runner on my screen. They're going to run 60 minutes, and I'm obviously going to run 59.59. No brain cells needed today. Just need to move my feet to the finish line. Let's go. I've got a motto for Tom for this. Your motto is, I can do it, I just don't like it. Is that my new motto? That's your motto. I thought my motto was, Running is the bridge between who I am and who I want to be. Yeah, but that's a lot to remember when you're really tired at 9k. Well, <laughs> she's right, I don't like it. Three, two, one! Tom's job is to just stay quiet, do what his watch says, and make sure he's back here in an hour. I am also setting my watch up so that I've got the virtual partner set up, running six minute kilometers. So we're all in the same race to see whether we can beat it. Running around close streets of London is always quite a privilege. It's not something that you can do very often and for someone that lives in London and runs around central London quite often, it's busy, it's hard to run around. Um, so being able to actually properly open your legs around you know, all the iconic landmarks, yeah, it's pretty fun. The first kilometre in a 10K is always going to be a bit of a settling in process. 6.03. So the virtual partner is slightly ahead, but that's okay. The virtual partner is an interesting one. It's like having your own personal pacer, which is great. And although Sarah was there, she was under strict instructions not to pace me, um, which is quite annoying at times, because uh, she's so good at running. At the start, there was a, quite a lot of like doubt already in my head. I think 3K onwards, it started to get a bit harder. This is a flat course, but it's not flat. There's massive hills. Big, biggest hills in my life, which they won, but they felt like it. And coming over the top of them, my legs just felt like jelly straight away. Tom is doing so well. It's such a hot day. He is absolutely smashing it. It's so hard at the start when you feel really hot. You're in the first few kilometers and you're not sure if you can do it, but he's just got to trust in his training. One word, how are you feeling? <laughs> For the purposes of the video, that was probably beeped out. 4k in I was just burning that's all I could my face there wasn't much wind as well around where we were it's so hard when you train for so long and then the conditions on the day are so hard so humid right now 5k I was like oh, okay halfway oh halfway I can't do this for another 30 minutes that really was the start of the doubt. My breathing went out of rhythm. I started getting a stitch. You know, everything that shouldn't happen, happened. This is horrible. How, what are you feeling? I just want to go home. Why? About 6K in, I stopped. You can do it, come on Tom. I don't want to do this. You can do it. Come on Tom, you can do it. Come on, just keep running, just jog it in. All that training. You proved you can do it. It's just some days you're going to find it a little bit hard, but that is what the community is here for. We lift each other up. Second half is easy. Yes, come on. Come on, Tom. Everyone around here wants you to do it. I wish they would go away. You can do it. There's probably a good 30 seconds to a minute of footage that no one will ever see because um, it would just be one long beat. Let's not drop any more. That's the new challenge. Five more K. Can we finish under 61 minutes? New goal. You can do it, come on. I don't want a new goal. I don't have the thing in my head that other people do, that when things are starting to get tough, they dig deep and persevere. I haven't really unlocked that, and hopefully I do one day. I want to stop, I want to go home, I want to hide under my duvet. And 6K in, that's, that's exactly what was going through my head. I just don't know why people run. Why? It's just hard and not fun. This is not enjoyable. I don't understand why anyone would want to be here. It's really hard. But we've just had a look down at the virtual partner. And if Tom starts running right now, 
he can still get a PB. Do you want it? Yeah? He wants it. Okay, come on then, mate. Good job, well done. Come on, Tom. That was the thing that got me back running. I was like, I'm DNFing, I don't care, I'm going home. But then I looked at my, my little virtual partner and I was like, oh, they're not that far ahead. I could give it a go. Um, so off I went again and um, tried. We're real here on the running channel. We're going to show you exactly what plays out on the day. I'm going to drop back and I'm going to let him get himself to the finish line in the same way that he has got himself out the door. He's got himself training. And before anyone comments, because I've seen these type of comments before, of like, oh, why don't you stop running if you don't like it? This, this guy right here, whew, got emotional just thinking about it. This guy right here represents a hell of a lot of people out there who do find it hard, who struggle with most of the runs that they go out on. But you know what? They do up their laces and they get out there and they show people that even when you are down and out in a race, you can pick yourself up and you can get on with it. And that is what he is doing right now. So if you haven't already dropped Tom some love in the comments, I'm a mess, then go and do it. Because I tell you what, realizing you're out and being able to pick yourself back up is no mean feat. And that is exactly what he's doing right now. The last 2K, you, you know, you're touching the mile, you're going down Westminster and the crowds are getting vibey even though I wasn't feeling vibey. People are like starting to push the pace a bit. You're getting overtaken, you're overtaking. It's, it's chaos. All races are the last couple K. That's where I think races really differ to running just in training or on your own. Everyone is there just for you and they don't care who you are. They just want everyone to succeed. That's such a nice feeling. Okay, 800 meters to go. Looking good, Tom. This is like pretty much the exact same finish as London Marathon. Getting horrible flashbacks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Tom is feeling the same as I did with 800 metres to go. Sense of despair and relief. I think the biggest takeaway, the thing that I'm most proud of, I don't think is actually the race. And I know that this is probably not good for a video about a race, but it's the training, it's the consistency. It's the first time ever in my running endeavour that I have been consistent week in week out with running i know that my body and my mind can put in the shift to train for a race i just need to like kind of unlock the race bit 99 percent of running for me is a mental battle with myself and giving up is something that i do more than actually successfully doing a run this is quite funny because um if anyone follows the running channel jess finesse is uh producing the happiest person I know <laughs> and she's asking me God, you must feel so proud no I feel <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't I, I've, I feel really bad I've played sports all my life and I've, I've, I've been taught you're either first or last kind of thing and with running I'm never going to be the first in real life but I can be the first for myself but I'm not today I'm last I haven't broken a PB and that does, that hurts. I'm not done, am I? I've got to come back. I've got to do it again. I am in Battersea Park at a run for event three days after my failed PB. I'm on my own. I haven't told anyone that I'm here because this is redemption. Redemption for, for anyone that doubts himself at every start line, at every training run, just in life in general. This, this proves that you can do it. And if you get knocked back, get up in the end and go. Because you can. 
And you will. Like I did. <laughs>